SGC here, and we're back for a movie review. The Nice Guys. Directed by Shane Black, the guy that brought us Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and Iron Man 3. He comes back with a neo-noir crime buddy comedy. And this movie stars Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling, Andrea Rice, Matt Berner, Margaret Qualley, Keith David, and Kim Bassinger. Everyone else, check down below. So what's this film about? Well, basically it's about Russell Crowe, who's an enforcer, gets a job, done things, and somehow meets up with Ryan Gosling, who's working on a similar case, and Ryan Gosling's a private investigator, and their investigations merge, and they're like, we should work together and figure this out. And basically, that's the entire film. So what did I think? Well, first off, I love the chemistry between Gosling and Crow here. That's the different foiling, how Ryan Gosling seems to be in it for the money, and he's not a real professional in terms of private investigator. I mean, the first few scenes with him, he's just, you know, getting the money, and he's doing not a good job at all. Whereas you have Russell Crowe, who's actually good at enforcing, and it's just that different foiling throughout the film really helped just flesh out their characters and gave a few laughs here and there, which helped for this movie. Because, I mean, it is a comedy. Another huge part was Ryan Gosling's daughter, Andrea Rice. She's great here, another standout kid actress. And I really love how she foils both of them, how she sort of agrees to him, but not him, but at certain different issues, yes, no, no, yes sort of thing. And I feel that it, it added a lot more to this trio with their different personalities and whatnot, and how she handled the case and how she did her stuff. I really enjoyed that. Also, another big highlight was the 1970s vibe. I really enjoyed that. It's a period piece. 70s and I really loved how everything looks different and how authentic I don't know but I love the vibe that they brought in now the comedy itself I would say it's there some stuff are kind of stretch out longer and it's could be more funny but it's also serious at the same time so it's like your take your pick sort of thing and another huge part about this was that the whole case how it sets up the case the narrative of this movie felt really long in the beginning where it set everybody up and it took a lot away from the end i feel i feel like the end could have been much more stronger in a sense and i feel like the ending was great as in it was not your typical hollywood ending and it was an actual sort of investigation very detective sort of work they had to put things together and you're like holy crap the ending was great in a sense where it all came together but the action over the top sort of action was just too much for my taste as in it really detracted from the whole vibe and atmosphere that the movie was set up for the, for the first three quarters of the film. The last ending was just guns blazing crazy. I mean there were some like laughs here and there but it was just a little bit too intense and didn't jive well with the rest of the film. I felt like it could have been more intense in terms of just like a slow burn. This is holy crap we're gonna die rather than let's put some a lot of action and a lot of comedy in in the action sequence and lost points there while i i did say it was good it was like the ending that you thought was the ending but it wasn't that was a great ending ending anyway but overall i mean the cast here with the three of them is strong everyone else kind of feels iffy it's nothing standout ish and i enjoyed the repeat villains that come back and they do their thing and then they fail they come back do their thing and and it, it ties in with the characters how russell crowe his character sort of deals with issues and gosling how he deals with issues i enjoy that so for me i think the biggest thing is if you like russell crowe and ryan gosling you're gonna like this hopefully i enjoyed it the chemistry was fine the narration could have been picked up a lot more the actual investigation i feel like it's not your typical Hollywood sort of thing, so I enjoyed that. The fact, the very fact that it was different, I enjoyed that. And just the ending could have been toned down a bit, fit with the overall film a bit more. And yeah, so beyond that, I enjoy the chemistry. Narrative could be improved. How it was shot, I wouldn't say anything that was like, oh my goodness, amazing. It just didn't feel jarring, so what else do you want? Like, nothing pop pops out. I feel like if, if you just accept and just go with it, it's always great in terms of cinematography. And, and yeah, that's that's all I got to say about the nice guys. If you like Gosling and Crow, hopefully you'll like it. 
But beyond that, that's pretty much it for this movie for the nice guys. And as always, if you have seen the nice guys, leave your comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that is it for this movie review for the nice guys. Out!